Walking on this trail reminds me of when St. John Bosco was lost in the woods and his guardian angel dog, Grigio, had to save him from being savagely mauled. The Miracles and Prophecies of St. John Bosco, a project of America Needs Fatima. I'm your host, Matthew Miller. Now, it must be said that St. John Bosco rarely spoke of Grigio, the gray dog, of his own accord. It was only when his oratory boys begged him for stories of this furry guardian angel. Grigio, or the Grey One, would protect our saint from hordes of anti-Catholic assassins, like masons or heretics, who wanted to kill him for spreading his orthodox teachings in numerous publications. In 1867, when Don Bosco gave this account, it was only because the oratory boys were in great need of cheering up. The saint had just prophesied the death of Maestro, an oratory student, as we've already heard in a previous episode named Death's Messenger. None of the students knew that Maestro was the dying boy, so it was quite a shock when he passed away. In those sad days, feeling the need to rid themselves of melancholy thoughts, the pupils began asking Don Bosco about the mysterious dog, which had, on several occasions, saved him from danger. Don Bosco narrated several incidents of his life with a good deal of humor, and then went on to describe the heroism of Grigio to the boy's great excitement and merriment. The dog first started appearing in 1852. When they asked how long it had been since he had last seen the dog, he replied that Grigio had appeared and escorted him just the year before, very late at night in 1866. At that time, it was very common to travel miles and miles on foot when one couldn't hire a carriage or a horse, and Don Bosco couldn't find either. Night was soon upon him, dark and cloudy, though without rain yet. The path took him through robber-infested areas where farmhouses and vineyards were guarded by ferocious mastiffs. To make matters worse, he wandered off the path because of hedges and obstacles and had to make wide detours. Heavily perspiring, he came to the foot of a steep hill and plodded upward. Soon he had to halt and catch his breath. How I wish Grigio were here, he exclaimed. He would get me out of this mess. One would think that the mysterious dog was there listening, for he heard a short bark, then another, and lo, there was Grigio excitedly dashing down the hill and joyfully leaping all over him. The gray dog resembled a flock dog or guard hound by his size and shape. No one, not even Don Bosco, ever knew where it came from or its owner. An eyewitness once described him, he was a dog of a truly formidable appearance. He looked almost like a wolf with an elongated muzzle, straight ears, gray fur, and was one meter tall. The dog led the way for nearly two miles and got Don Bosco to where he was expected. As they passed one farmhouse, two huge dogs furiously lunged at Don Bosco, but in no time Grigio took them on and so badly mauled them that they had to retreat with painful howls. This brought their masters out to see what had happened. When Don Bosco reached the house where he was expected, all were amazed to see such a handsome dog and they bombarded Don Bosco with questions as to where he had found him. When they sat down to supper, Grigio withdrew to a corner. Let's feed Grigio now, Mr. Molia remarked at the end of the meal, but to everybody's surprise, Grigio was nowhere to be found, though the doors and windows were locked and the farm dogs had given no alarm of any sort. A search was made of the upper rooms, but Grigio had vanished and was never seen again in those parts. The Salesians wrote of Grigio, we can advisedly say that the story of this dog not only intrigues us, but also touches on the supernatural, especially in view of the fact that Grigio at times was visible to Don Bosco alone. Father John Garino wrote, in 1862, one Saturday afternoon at two o'clock, Don Bosco asked me to go with him into town. Just as he was about to step past the oratory gate, he seemed unable to move. I stood right behind him. After making several attempts to get left or right, he gave up. I can't get out, he said, turning to me. Grigio won't let me. Don Bosco had to stay home that day. 
On the next day, I heard rumors that someone had planned to ambush Don Bosco and kill him on the previous day. There was even a time when Grigio showed up 30 years after his last apparition, removing all doubt as to his angelic character. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you'd like to hear more about this guardian angel dog, just click on this video. Don't forget to come back for new Don Bosco stories every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. God bless you, and Our Lady keep you.